y'all i'm martika and welcome to my channel if you are new welcome 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 if you're returning tink tink hey how you doing so y'all i'm going to be doing a cook with me video on today once i told you all that i was um vegan i had got a few requests to do a couple of recipes so that is what i will be doing on today so for dinner tonight i'm going to be doing a vegan um broccoli and beef teriyaki over jasmine rice and then i'm also going to have some vegetable dumplings on the side i'm going to show y'all the ingredients that i will be using okay i have some jasmine rice my broccoli florets um i was going to use fresh broccoli but since i already had some frozen here in the house i chose to use this instead of going out and buying more i'm just going to use what i have um and then i also have some garlic here a little piece of ginger onion and then i'm going to be using this sesame ginger teriyaki sauce right here and i'm going to just jazz it up a little bit with the ginger and the garlic here we have the um vegan beef slices okay y'all so very simple ingredients right here it is soy protein isolate it is wheat starch wheat gluten cocoa powder and calcium carbonate and that is all these come dried and then you have to soak them in water for about 40 minutes and then you will be able to prepare it as you would any other beef so y'all i tried these beef strips um I went to this place called Carrington International. I actually did a mukbang on them um, not too long ago. But they also had this veggie, it's called the Veggie Vegan um, Pepper Steak. And it is so good, y'all. So when I seen this at the Asian market, I had to get it. And I wanted to try to make my own little something here at the house. So I know this is going to be good because I have tried this, like I said, from the restaurant. So yeah, y'all, come on really quick before i get ready to soak the um beef strips i did want to say i am going to be using seasonings as well i know i did not include them in um my display of what i'm getting but i will show y'all what i'm using i'm sorry but i will show y'all as i use the seasonings y'all so i had this in some water and they figure it's soak. i am going to um, soak this in a little salt just because um i have known people to say that it comes out better when you soak it into salt soak a little salt in it so boom 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 i'm gonna let this go for 30 minutes and then i'll be back to see if it has softened up some
right y'all so now that i have my um my little meatless beef strips soaking i just cut up my onions and my garlic and grated some ginger now i'm going to move on to my rice i'm going to go ahead and just get my rice going so by the time my rice finish cooking the um beef strips will be done have my wok over here um, heating up right now so I'm let that get hot and then I'm gonna add some sesame oil and then I'm gonna go ahead and saute my onions my garlic and then I'm adding my broccoli All right, y'all, so now that I have my onions and garlic and ginger and broccoli inside of the pan, sauteing up, now I'm gonna go ahead and deal with the meatless tips. The meatless tips um, have now been soaking for almost an hour, actually. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze out the excess water and then I'm gonna put it over into my pan. So let's go. All right, y'all, so I drained my meatless beef strips off and squeezed the excess water. Now I'm gonna get ready to add it to my wok with my broccoli and onions and garlic ginger. So, come on. alright y'all so I have my um, stuff mixed together and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes with the lid on um, and then I'll come back and taste it and see how it is alright y'all so while the broccoli and the beefless beef strips are cooking what I'm going to do now is prep for the dumplings so I'm using these vegetable dumplings here any brand would do. I got these from the farmer's market, but they have them in grocery stores, Kroger, Publix, anywhere. You can find some vegetable dumplings. It don't have to be this brand. It could be any brand. And then I'm just going to use some of this dumpling sauce with it if it focus. And I got this out of the Asian market as well, but they do sell this brand in Kroger's and at Publix because I have gotten them from both. So, yeah. And the directions for this is very simple. I'm not really gonna put this on um, camera. Um, well, show me cooking it because it's so simple. You just do, let me let it focus for y'all. You see, you wanna add about one tablespoon of cooking oil to a nonstick skillet. You wanna add 12 dumplings to it. And then you're gonna add three tablespoons of water. And you're just gonna cook it um, for seven minutes. So boom, very, very, very easy and straight to the point. So I'll be back when the full meal is done. All right, y'all. So as you can see, I am done cooking. 
and everything came out very nicely i can't wait to try it so hold on y'all let's try it all right y'all so i know that my lighting is probably a little dark please forgive me but i'm gonna go ahead and try this really quickly for y'all let me get some of my rice I love some jasmine rice. All right. I want to get a bite of everything. So I'm getting some uh, broccoli with a little onion. Piece of meat. I'm just going to try that, that part right there. Here we go. Let me let it focus. Can y'all see it? Yeah, there we go. That's good, y'all. The only thing that I would change is my sauce because I did have to go and add more stuff to my sauce. That um, sauce I bought, I would try a different brand or just make it from scratch next time. But once I doctored it up, that sauce is good. And as far as the meatless chunks go, the beef shreds, they have the chew like steak which i think that's what they was going for was the chew for like beef or whatever i'm trying again yes it has that chew to it and next time i think while i'm soaking it i will add a little more i do see what people say when they say make um salty water to soak it in because once that sauce go away, then that little beef part don't have as much flavor. But I'm still okay with that simply because I don't need all that salt anyway. But yes, y'all, this is very good. Very, very good. And I end up boiling it for um, in the season and for, I say it's 10 the first time, but I end up going for like 20 minutes to really infuse the flavor in here. And it's really good, y'all. Really, really good. Mm. I wish I would have did more broccoli too. I only had that one bag. I really needed two bags. All right. So, y'all, that is it for this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up for it. And if you like this, make sure that you try it out. Let me know if you try it. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.